My name is Dana Brinson, and I'm excited to be here with you today. Today is February the 5th, and it's time for our morning devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit by Jennifer LeClaire. So first, I must start off by saying I am so honored to be invited by Pastor Gina to uh, do this devotional with her and all the wonderful brothers and sisters that have been participating. Um, each devotional has been enlightening and inspiring, and it's an excellent way to start your day. So I invite you to check back often for more videos. I assure you, you will be blessed. So with that said, shall we get started? So the devotional for Fe February the 5th is I Have the Solution. Just trust me with it. Am I not worthy of your trust? Have I not earned it? Do I not deserve it? Just trust me with it. Whenever you encounter anything you can't handle, just trust me with it. I see the end from the beginning. I know the way through and the way out. I know the way over and the way under. I have the solution to all of your problems. Just trust me with it. Give it to me and rejoice in my love. Praise God. So this devotional saying that I have the solution, God is saying I have the solution and to trust him with it is so appropriate for the season that we are in today. Um, with the state of the world and everything that we see happening in the world today, if we look with our natural eyes, it seems like there's a lot of uncertainty um, that is happening in the world today. But we, as the sons and daughters of the Most High God, we have a surety. We can trust, we can rest, because we are trusting in the king who rules over everything. There is nothing that is outside of his control. There is nothing that happens without his permission. He is in control of all things. So we don't have to worry and we don't have to fret. We don't have to um, you know, try to figure things out because we know that God is on the throne and we can trust him with anything that comes our way. You know, nowadays we have people that uh, are have fear and, and um, they're worried about their health with a global pandemic. They're worried about their loved ones, their close family members, um, parents, grandparents, um, their children. Uh, they're worried about their jobs, their financial security. Um, you know, are they uh, going, to, going to be able to uh, make enough money to feed themselves and feed their children, their husbands and their wives? Um, some people are, 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 you know, they have fear from some of the violence that we have seen happen in the streets. Um, people have things that are on their mind. And um, when you look, like I said, with your natural eyes, it seems like everything is out of control, but we have to trust the Lord with it, with all things, um, no matter what it is. We have to trust him because he has the answer. He says, haven't I already earned it? How many times has the Lord already seen you through a situation? You know, there's a scripture that says that you set up a memorial where those, those, those miraculous things have already taken place. You remember those, those times where the Lord has brought you through when you thought it couldn't work, you thought it wasn't gonna happen, you thought that, that there was no way that situation could be worked out, but God did it, he did it, he brought you through. You overcame, you got through it, and you were stronger for it. He says, remember those things, make them a memorial in your mind, rehearse them over and over and over again. Because when you think back on those things, when you see the things that are ahead of you, you have that assurity that he got me through before, he will get me through this time as well. He says, whenever you encounter anything you can't handle, just trust him. 
with all the things that are happening in the earth, it's all out of our control. We can't control what happens with our jobs. We can't control what happens with, um, you know, with sickness or illness or with our family members. We can do everything within our power to try to protect people, to try to create financial security, but your own only real security is found in Christ. It can't be found anywhere else. So we have to put our trust in him because he sees the end from the beginning. He has a a, a good ending in store for you because he loves you, because he um, cares for you, because uh, he wants good things for you. He's a good daddy and he gives good gifts. And we have to remember that. So we have to trust him to not only get us through it, but also to direct us and give us the strategy on how to get through the things that we may um, be be dealing with um, in this day. He says, I know the way over and I know the way under. Every answer that you could possibly need can be found in him. He will show you how to get through. Sometimes it's just trusting him and believing him and standing firm in faith and just getting through. That's the testimony itself, the fact that you made it through and you're able to turn around and strengthen your brother or strengthen your sister because the word of God does say that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Every time you overcome, every time you make it through a very difficult circumstance, when you encounter someone that is going through something hard, when you give them your testimony, you are encouraging yourself again, but you're also encouraging them, letting them know God did it for me. He can, and he will do it for you. He has the solution to every problem that you could have. Proverbs three, five through six says, trust, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. We have to trust him for a strategy. We have to um, have faith that he is going to tell us what we need to do. But then after he gives us that strategy, gives us that way through whatever situation we are in, we have to be obedient and do it. It's not enough to just know it, that he's going to get us through it. We have to be obedient to the steps and the strategy that he gives us so that we can be overcomers. Because God knows all things. He knows how to navigate these waters that we've never been in before. He knows, um, you know, he, he knows the, the way. He, he is a lamp into our feet and a light to our path. So we have to believe him to show us the way through, but then we also have to do the very things that he tells us to do. You can't lean on your own understanding. I, 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 I believe that we are in a season where there are uh, those things that were crutches to us in last seasons and before, things that we leaned on before, those things have been removed and taken away and now we have to trust in him. It's not enough to just be a person who's able to just quote scripture. You have to live this thing, live it, because as you live it, He, will, the scriptures will come alive and you will see how he will get you through every single, single, single circumstance, every situation, no matter what it is. There's nothing too big for him. There's nothing too hard for him. He is a God of impossibilities. There is nothing too hard for him. And we are going to begin to see him. We're already seeing it happen. He is going, he is moving in great ways and we're going to see him move in miraculous ways in the days coming. He is going to show up for you in ways that you would have never expected. You don't have to rely on um, natural circumstances. God will, will, can, and will supernaturally intervene in your situation. He is a miraculous God. He is a, 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 a miracle working God. He is a God that, that heals. He is the God that brings provision. He is the God that, build, that, that brings resolution. He is the God that brings restoration. He is the God that brings answers. We do not have 
to fret. We do not have to worry. We do not have to um, be uh, 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 shaken and going from toss to and fro as we see all the things happening in the earth. We can stand firm in our faith, knowing that he has our back, knowing that we can trust him, that he is going to get us through every single situation, every single circumstance. So don't lean on your own understanding. Don't trust what you see with your natural eyes. Believe the word of God. Look at things through your spiritual eyes. Ask the Lord to show you what he's really doing. Ask the Lord to show you what it is that he's doing so that you can come into cooperation with his spirit as he's moving in the earth. Um, ask him to to, to um, open your eyes and open your ears to hear him in a new way, to, uh, to, to, to be able to stand firm and trust in a new way, in a way that you haven't in the past. Romans 8, 28 says, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. I talked about being obedient when he, you know, he gives you that strategy and you have to do what he is telling you to do. God has a purpose for you. There is something in the earth realm that he has for you to complete and you to do. You have purpose, you have destiny. But you have to know that no matter what is happening around you, God will turn, work those things for your good. He will turn it around. He will cause those things to come together to work for your good. You don't have to worry about what it looks like, what it feels like. All you have to do is be obedient to the word that he, get, he tells you to do. So we know that he's causing these things to work together. So that means that we keep our eyes um, on that, our hearts are steady in him, knowing that he's working it together. And then that way we can toss off um, all those things that, that the hopelessness and the, and the depression and all those things that were trying to come upon us when we think that things aren't happening the way they ought to. We have to trust God and know that he is for us. He is for you. God is for you. Say that God is for me. God loves me. He wants to bring me to a, 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 a perfect and wonderful end. He wants to bring me to a good end. He is a God, a good daddy that gives good gifts. So repeat that, rehearse that over and over to yourself. Um, so till it's written on the tablets of your heart and it's not just a thought, but it's something that that you know and you're knower you know it from a position of strength you can say I know that God has my back no matter what because I know that he loves me Psalms 28 7 says the Lord is my strength and my shield in him my heart trusts and I am helped my heart exalts and with my song I give thanks to him so I say to you today, put your trust in the Lord, lean out on your own understanding. When he gives you the strategy on how you are to overcome, how you are to get through the circumstances that you're in, be obedient to that word. And then once you do that, rejoice and give thanks and believe that it's already done. He's already come, he's already uh, uh, done it. He's already worked the miracle for you on your behalf. You're just waiting to see it um, come into uh, fruition with your natural eyes. We know that it's already done in the spirit realm. So at that point, once you have trusted him and you've been obedient, now you can rejoice, rejoice in victory, knowing that you are victorious because you belong to him. You do not have to worry about what it's going to look like five years from now, 10 years from now, because you know that he is working all things together for your good. And Isaiah 26, three says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. When you trust in the Lord, he will keep you in perfect peace. There will be peace in your heart. There will be peace in your mind. You will be resting in him and that, that Shabbat rest knowing that, that all things are, are, are good. You, you can just, you know, you, you, you are at peace. 
He will keep you in perfect peace when your mind is stayed on, on him. So don't have your mind on, on your finances. Don't have your mind on sickness. Don't have your mind on that wayward child that's not behaving the way they ought to or that loved one that you're praying that they would get saved. Don't have your mind on, on the problems that you may be having at work on your job or with your neighbor or at your church or any of those things. Do not meditate on those things, but instead meditate on the goodness of the Lord. Meditate on his love, his tender mercies, his kindness towards you. Meditate on that perfect peace that he has given to you because you trust in him. God is an awesome God. He loves us. He cares for us. And your life, as you are trusting in him and overcoming in every, every situation, your life becomes a testimony. Your life becomes an example on display of God's goodness. Your life is an example on display of his love. Your life is an example on display of his miraculous power, of, of him uh, making a way out of no way. People that you don't even know, they, they, they're watching you and they're seeing God come and, and, and just uh, 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 work a miracle for you over and over again. You are his love, his miraculous power on display for all to see. So know that your life is a testimony. Your life is a testimony. And you can thank the Lord that he has your back. You can thank him and, 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 and just say, God, I just thank you and I praise you because I know that you have me. I just thank you and I praise you because I know that no matter what's happening, when I put my trust in you, all things are working together for my good because I, I love you and I'm called according to your purpose. I can say that I am in perfect peace because my mind is stayed on him and I'm trusting in him to do the very thing that he said that he would do. He is not a God that he should lie. He, what he says he will do, he will do it. He will do it. So you have to just believe that. You have to rest in that. You have to allow your heart to be steady in that. Steady in that. Say in 2021, no more will I be tossed to and fro. I will not be in confusion. I will not be in disarray. I will not be in um, um, distrust. I will not be in depression. I will not be hopeless. Say in 2021, I am an overcomer. Say in 2021, I am more than a conqueror. Say in 2021, I am in perfect peace because my mind is stayed on the Lord and I'm putting my trust in him. Say in 2021, I put my trust in the Lord and now I'm resting. I'm rejoicing in him, in his love. I'm meditating on his love. I'm meditating on his peace. I'm let meditating on his kindness. I'm meditating on his majesty and his excellence. I am meditating on those things. Those things are, are good and a good report. And also, I will not be moved. I will not be moved. Let that be your confession that you will not be moved. The scriptures that go with the devotional for today, those scriptures that I read, those are ones I added in as I was just meditating on this um, excellent devotional uh, myself. And I, 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 those scriptures came to me as I was talking to the Lord. But the scriptures that go with the devotional are first, 2 Samuel 2, 28. And it says, and now, O Lord God, you are God and your words are truth and you have promised this good thing to your servant. God has good things promised for you. Do not believe the lie of the enemy that nothing is ever going to work out. Do not believe the lie of the enemy that everything you do fails or, or you know, it's Murphy's Law. If it could go, if it could go wrong, it will go wrong. That's not your inheritance. That's not your testimony. That is not what God has in store for you. He has promised good things for you because he, because you are his servant. 
So let that be where you rest. That is your inheritance, good things. That is the thing that you can be rest assured in, that God's promises towards you are good. And they're yea and amen. The second scripture that goes with this devotional is Psalms 13.5. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. So when you trust in God's unfailing love, your heart can rejoice knowing that he is there with you. You don't have to fret. You don't have to worry. God is there with you. So instead of, of being in that place of, of worryation, instead of being in a place of rejoicing, be in a place of blessing the name of the Lord, be in a place of magnifying his name because you know that he is your salvation, that there is a path, a way through. He is your strong tower. And the last scripture is Psalms 27. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Amen. The closing prayer that goes with this devotional, and I want you to repeat after me. Say, God, I trust you. I will not be moved from your heart of love. Yet help me to trust you more, more and more. Help me to rejoice in your love, even in the midst of trials. Speak to my heart during times of trouble and show me the pathway to peace. Amen. I hope you really said that with me. I hope you did. Father, I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice will trust in you in ways that they have not trusted in you in the past, that they will be in that perfect peace because their mind is stayed on you. I pray that these words fell on good ground and it will resonate and be a, a um, just be a chorus in their heart throughout the day. That they are trusting in you, that you are for them, that you are that you love them, and that you have good things prepared in, 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 the, in their path for the day, in Jesus' name. I pray that your day is blessed. I pray that um, favor rests upon you as you go through the day. Amen, and have a great day. Amen.